So now explain to me, because uh, we're friends, but I don't, I, I can't keep up with you. I know. All right, so um, Courtney is now, she's in the show. She's 40. She's 40. <laughs> Okay. She sounds like she's going to talk about my kids. Like, tell me about little Courtney. Well, I am. Yeah. Like, yeah. How, she's For in real. The sh she wasn't in the show. She wasn't going to come back. Yeah, she's filming again. Okay. Is it because of, of this? I gave her some yeah. of this. <laughs> right. Is that, I mean, so, but no. she wasn't going to be in it, and she's she, in it. What changed she, her mind? I think she just needed a little bit of a break. You know how we all hit a tipping point, and she hit a wall, and she was frustrated, and she felt underappreciated, and that her sister's didn't understand her boundaries. And so I think after, you know, taking a little bit of time off, she's seen the light. <laughs> <laughs> the so, money. The Kardashian uh, light. Yeah. The money at the end of the no, tunnel. She, we actually all really enjoy doing the show because Obviously. we get to be together all day. We wouldn't be doing, we're about to start our 19th season. Wow. Which is filming it. So, and uh, so, yeah, I think she just, you know, she would miss us. Right. And you don't, obviously, you're all doing very well. You don't have to keep doing the show. Even the show, the show is important for business, and they both kind of help each other. But you really, y'all are doing fine without that. So you obviously love it. But when you see you're a mother, you love them, the family's close, I know all that. Mm -hmm. But when you see them fight, mm -hmm. like it looks like there's a fist thrown or something, that yeah. you, do you as a mother go, stop? Or you think, oh, ratings. I mean, what? <laughs> No, actually, I wasn't there when they had that argument, and I have not seen them really fight like that since they were in high school. Or there was a one time, I think it was way back when, when Kim, did anybody see when Kim beat one of the kids over the head with her purse because <laughs> her rims on her car weren't right, or I, it was so silly. Mm -hmm. That was, it took me back to that, but it made me really sad. I was like, you guys can't be fighting with each other. That's ridiculous. Like, right. you know, grow up. Yes, but you have to understand. I mean, you know, most families fight, period, mm -hmm. much less being together, filming, and, and 24 all the 7, to, yeah. together all the time. So, of course. Maybe you could come over and tell them that. Like, have a, like a little intervention. All right. Or you can just make them watch this. And then I just <laughs> said, don't fight. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> So Kylie's business uh, sold for what, how much? Like, a, you know, a billion, right? Something like that. More? Well, You're looking at me maybe. like more. OK. It, it she sold, did OK. She, she did actually a, worked really hard and sold part of her company to Cody. Right. So she sold. Uh, but it, it, first of all, it's the fastest growing company to get to that amount of money of all companies. Yes. I mean, that says something. No matter what people say about, you know, what you know, y'all are doing some good business. And she so, works really hard, yeah. and she's really creative, and she loves what she's doing, so it comes really easy to her. She'd rather be doing that than anything else in the world other than taking care of Stormy. So I'm really proud of her. I mean, she works hard, and she really seems to know what her generation wants, and it's a whole different world with social media yeah. and you know, selling things direct to consumer on the internet. It really makes it possible for so many other young women. She's such a great example, too, to other young women who can go out there and make this great living and really go for it and don't take no for an answer and just listen to your to your gut and your instinct and, and work hard and, yeah, you she, know. she certainly did tap into something that she knew what everybody wanted. Now, uh, it, and she, uh, Stormy, by the way, is precious. She's I mean, so that cute. little girl is so adorable. <laughs> Um, and She's she, cute. so she singing this song to her. Uh -huh. um, let me just, if you didn't see the song that went viral, this is her just singing to her good night. <laughs> Rise and shine. Or, not good night. Rise and shine. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's how they used to put me to sleep. Um, <laughs> But so so that goes viral just because she sings R "Rise and Shine," uh -huh. and your your brilliant uh, manager brain. Mm -hmm. By the end of the day, you had T-shirts. Print some T-shirts. I mean, yes. Like really, as yes. soon as you saw that go viral, you thought well, T-shirts. You know what's so funny about that? First of all, they said we had no talent. I mean, that <laughs> just speaks for itself. Like that's great. It was really amazing the attention that we got yeah. from that. And so by the end of the day, I was like, let's burn up some t-shirts. You know, why not? It's so easy. And, and what else have you made besides t-shirts? Other things with Rise and Shine? Uh, I don't remember what made the cut, but we thought about it as like a, a sub-brand of Kylie because she just came so, you know, overwhelmed with all the attention from that song. So we Shouldn't thought, you okay, do that a, works. What about a cleaner, a Rise and Shine? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Do I get a little of that because I said it? 
A 10%? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you get if, you get, if I get 10%? You get like 25? What do you get? 10. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we have. She knows me so well. Uh, our dogs are related, so uh, we got Wally. So we were, we're we, in-laws or yes, something. Now yeah. we're, we're yes, I'm in the family money. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, Portia and I rescued a dog, uh, Wally, who I've shown many, many pictures of. Beautiful. And she's, she's and then her Wally's mother's sister had a litter, and they were also rescue dogs. Mm -hmm. And you rescued Bridget. Bridget. Yes, with a K, obviously. There's yeah. a silent K in there There's somewhere. There's a silent yeah. K. Bridget with the K. So I heard about this litter and I text Ellen and I said, where, how do I get a hold of the person who has these dogs? And Ellen sent me the name of Melissa, who's yeah. the- Wagmore. Wagmore. And so I swear you guys, in 30 minutes, I had a dog at my house. She said, I'm right by you. It just, we just gave him a bath. It's just, what a coincidence. And do you want to see her? And I said, oh boy, sure. And the minute she walked in with that dog, I was in heaven. Wait. I was love at first sight. Is that like a Gucci purse toy for the dog? <laughs> That's hilarious. Corey's godmother, Nancy, uh, sent the dog uh, a welcome, you know, like when you give birth to a baby, you get right. gifts. Yeah. yeah. So wow. that was her welcome gift. Yeah, she's, uh, yeah, Corey loves that dog. Corey sends me pictures of, of he's with, with, with Bridget more than you are, I think. I know. Yeah. Well, I'm like a working mom. Yeah. Yeah, and he's the stay-at-home dad, but yeah. he doesn't really stay at home. But no, he doesn't. As much, yeah, he works hard too. But anyway, that's a precious dog. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, actually, let's take a break. We'll we'll talk more when we come back.